Thank you, Mrs. Williams. Before we announce our local scholarship recipients, I want to take a moment to thank all of our local scholarship contributors. All together this year, you have generously awarded our graduating seniors $41,900. Thank you so much for investing in our students. Some of our scholarship contributors have delayed their awards due to the situation this year. We'll begin our awards with the Alaska Telephone Association Scholarship. ATA offers this scholarship to students sponsored by CTC. Applicants must have a definite goal in the field of telecommunications to apply. This year we do know the recipient, however we do not know the award amount. This award will be going to Ethan Beckett. Ethan, let us know how much it is when you find out. Congratulations. Three of our local scholarship contributors have recorded their awards. Now we'll hear from the Coast Guard Spouses Association, the Rhett Merritt Memorial Scholarship, and the Parent Teacher Association. The Cordova Coast Guard Spouses Association would like to thank all of the applicants for your time and commitment. Also, at this time, we would like to congratulate the two $1,000 winner, Rias Mike and Anika Wisto, for their outstanding academic excellence. Congratulations. 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 The Rhett Merritt Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who demonstrates hard work and love for family and friends. Special consideration is given to students who show enthusiasm and a strong work ethic and character. Jim Leah and Roy Merritt would like to give this Rhett Merritt Memorial Scholarship in memory of their nephew and brother. Here to present this scholarship on behalf of the Merritt family is Sydney Merritt Sonder. The family would like to award this $1,000 scholarship to William Deaton. They were impressed that you spoke from your heart regarding your future plans, and they appreciate your enthusiasm and your pursuit. If you knew Rhett, you would know that he was very passionate about everything that he believed in. Congratulations, William Deaton. Congratulations, William. Hello, everyone. Nicole and I are here this evening to present to four deserving students the Noel Palace PTA Scholarship Award. Noel was very active in the community. He uh, served on the school board for five years, which he was very proud of. And he also started the PTA in Cordova, Alaska. And he wa really wanted our grandchildren to be able to have a great education. And, and our schools in Cordova are proving to, to do that. Um, behind me is a picture of my husband, Noel Pallas, and it's been hanging in our living room since 1976. He loves fishing, and that was very important in his life, but also the community of Cordova was very important, and the school system. And we have a great school system, and we're very proud of it. And so, uh, you know, uh, without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Nicole to do the presentation. Nicole? I am pleased to announce, in the amount of $1,000, William Deaton is the re recipient. Congratulations, William. In the amount of $750, we present this award to Elena Quake. Congratulations, Elena, who also, by the way, is an alumni of Children's Palace. In the amount of $500, we present this award to Ethan Beckett. Congratulations, Ethan. And lastly, in the amount of $500, we present the scholarship to Aaron Phillips. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you so much, ladies. Now we have the Cordova Wolverines Cross Country Scholarship. This scholarship recognizes the efforts recipients have made while participating in the sport of cross country running and encourages the continuation of making running a part of a healthy lifestyle in the future. This year, receiving $100 each are William Deaton, Gage Fernatful, Anika Witso, and Jessica Ray. Congratulations, runners. Now we have the Enrique Zamudio Memorial Scholarship. This is in honor of Enrique's dedication to and love of music. This year, there are two recipients of the $250 scholarship. They are Caleb Curio and Rhea Smike. Congratulations. Now we have the Pioneers of Alaska, Cordova Women Pioneers, Igloo Number no. 5, Sourdough Scholarship. 
Students receiving this scholarship must be a member of the Pioneers of Alaska or a direct descendant of one. And they must write an essay describing what Alaska means to them. This year, the recipient of their $500 scholarship is Anika Witso. Congratulations, Anika. Next, we have the Cordova Community Baptist Church Richard E. Harding Memorial Scholarship. CCBC gives this scholarship in memory of Richard Harding, who served as pastor of our congregation for 24 years, from 1975 to 1999. This year, there are three recipients receiving $500 each. They are Caleb Carrillo, Autumn Deaton, and William Deaton. Congratulations. Now we have the Thomas R. Church Memorial Scholarship. Thomas Church taught social studies at Cordova High School for 29 years and was integral to the success of Student Council, National Honor Society, Future Problem Solvers, and Close Up. His family presents these scholarships in his memory. There are four recipients this year, and they are awarded $500 each. They are Ethan Beckett, Caleb Carrillo, Rhea Smike, and Jessica Ray. Congratulations. St. Joseph's Catholic Church is proud to award their scholarship of $1,000 to Aaron Phillips. Congratulations, Aaron. Cordova Electric Cooperative offers an annual scholarship that is awarded to a student entering a vocational, technical, or trade program. This year, the recipient of their $1,000 scholarship is Jessica Ray. Congratulations, Jessica. Next, we have the Mount McKinley Lodge No. 5, the Ancient, Free, and Accepted Masons of Alaska, Leora Beerley Award. This is given in recognition of scholarship, citizenship, volunteerism, and participation in the arts. This year, the recipient of their $1,000 award is Kevin Chung. Congratulations, Kevin. Now we have the Copper Valley Telecom Scholarship. This is available to graduating seniors whose parents or guardians have their cell phone service with Copper Valley Telecom and reside in Cordova. This year, the recipient of their $1,000 scholarship is Rhea Smike. Congratulations, Rhea. Next, we have the Cordova Arts and Pageant Scholarship. This scholarship is open to any Cordova High School senior with a commitment to further their knowledge of the arts at the college level as either major, minor, or elective courses. All arts are considered visual, performing, literary, media, etc. This year, there are two students who will be awarded $1,000 each. They are Elena Craig and Rhea Smike. Congratulations, ladies. Now we have the Cordova Northwind Quilters Guild Alice Riley Memorial Scholarship. This is awarded to the graduating senior who best exemplifies the art of quilting in a manner that honors the memory of Alice Riley. This scholarship is $500 the first year and is then renewable for the next three years at $250 each year. The recipient of the scholarship this year is Elena Craig. Congratulations, Elena. The Native Village of EAC Educational Scholarship recognizes graduating NVE youth. This year, the recipient of their $2,000 scholarship is Caden Graves. Congratulations, Caden. Next, we have the Miss Iceworm Scholarship Program. The Miss Iceworm Program has long recognized Cordova's outstanding young women. The program's objective is threefold, to recognize high-achieving young women, to provide educational, career, and personal development opportunities, and to award financial scholarships. These students demonstrate good character, hard work, and involvement in school and community. This year, the class of 2020 has three current and past winners. The second runner-up in 2020, receiving a $500 scholarship, is Anika Witso. Congratulations, Anika. Winning Miss Ice Worm in 2019 and a $2,500 scholarship is Jessica Ray. Congratulations, Jessica. Our last winner has won twice. She won second runner-up in 2018, and she was crowned Miss Ice Worm this year. She is winning $500 for her second runner-up award and $2,500 for Miss Ice Worm. Congratulations to Rhea Smike. Our last local scholarships are from Cordova Telecom Cooperative. CTC awards scholarships to seniors who will attend an accredited academic or vocational institution. Qualifications include 
the student's parent or guardian must be an active member of CTC or CWC. The student must have been a resident of Alaska for not less than four years or have attended school in Cordova for at least two years. And they must have demonstrated success in an academic or vocational field. This year, there are four students who will be receiving $4,000 each. They are Faith Collins, William Deaton, Rhea Smike, and Anika Witso. Congratulations, students. In addition to local scholarships, some of our seniors have made us aware of national scholarship awards and awards they've received from the universities and colleges they are attending. We would like to announce those now. Attending the Colorado School of Mines, Ethan Beckett has been awarded $8,000 each year for a total of four years for a grand total of $32,000. Congratulations, Ethan. William Deaton will be attending the University of Oklahoma. He has earned the OU Legacy Non-Resident Tuition Waiver of $1,000 a year for four years, totaling $4,000. He is also an Elks Semi-Finalist Most Valuable Student, and that award is $1,000 a year for four years, totaling $4,000. In addition to those awards, he has received the University Scholarship Non-Resident Tuition Waiver at $4,500 a semester for eight semesters, totaling $36,000. Congratulations, William. Autumn Deaton will be attending South Carolina School of Design. She has been awarded the SCAD Student Grant for Freshman Students in the amount of $1,500 a year for four years, totaling $6,000. She's also received the Academic Honor Scholarship on campus at $1,500 each year for four years, totaling $6,000. She's received the SCAD Achievement Honor Scholarship on campus at $2,250 each year for four years, totaling $9,000. She's received the Academic Honors Scholarship at $3,500 each year for four years, totaling $14,000. She's received the SCAD Achievement Honor Scholarship at $5,250 per year for four years, totaling $21,000. And she's received the Federal Pell Grant at $5,895 a year for four years, totaling $23,580. Congratulations, Autumn. Elena Craig will be attending Muhlenberg College. She has been awarded the Muhlenberg College Grant at $16,374 a year for four years, totaling $65,496. She has also been awarded the Presidential Merit Scholarship at $22,000 per year for four years, totaling $88,000. Congratulations, Elena. Altogether, these seniors have been awarded local, national and university scholarships totaling over $350,000. Nicely done, seniors. I met most of you when you were in sixth grade. It has been a privilege to be your counselor the last seven years and to watch you mature into the talented young men and women you are today. I know that this year did not end the way any of us wanted, but I also know that you have the strength to persevere through anything and that strength will serve you well as you head out into the world. You will be missed. But I know that you're going to succeed in anything you tackle. And I look forward to all the amazing things you're going to accomplish. You have my best wishes for a happy future. Congratulations, Class of 2020.